Praise King Jesus, how are you doing? This is Jay Chosen, I'm so happy to be talking to you as always and today I'm going to talk about something. Uh, as we all know, we all, we all attend Christmas, even if you're not that so much into chat stuff, you attend Christmas and you know what Christmas is and you know what it looks like. It's not yet the time of Christmas but um, there's a scenario I want to pick out of that story so we can learn together. Now, uh, the time of Christmas, in fact, before, because Christmas is when Christ was born, not so. But the, before Christ was brought to life, there was an angel of God who came to Mar Mary and told Mary that you are going to produce. Mary didn't have intercourse with the husband, Joseph, but it was a whole Holy Spirit who was going to impregnate Mary so Mary could produce the Son of God. Now, as we all saw the story, in the long run when Mary got pregnant and it was time to produce the baby, uh, they struggled to look and check where the baby was going to be produced from. They were just around and they ended up producing in a crowd now why have i brought this many of us god has promised to do something to us he has promised to make you maybe great may most of you you receive prophecies and they tell you you're going to be a great musician you're going to be a great businessman you're going to be a powerful man and woman of god you're going to succeed in your in your what? In your whatever you're doing now. And guess what? As you're about to reach to that point, you start you start doubting God. That we, we bless God. Mary did say, Oh, if you told me it was going to be your son, now you would have provided and all that. This was a son, a very precious son who came and died for me and you. But the way he was produced is really no one would have wanted to be produced in a corral, do you? No. So, what happens is, there's that thing God promised you. There is a life that you are expecting to get. There is a life you're expecting to be. There is a way you you, you see yourself. Like some, some uh, as they're interviewing some people, they tell them, they ask them, where are you seeing yourself five years to come? So there is that person you're seeing, but before reaching to that person, you start complaining, you start doubting, and you're like, oh, maybe, maybe it is not God who spoke. No matter how that baby you're holding in, <laughs> no matter how the baby you're holding in will be produced, he will be produced. You just have to keep searching, no matter where the baby is produced. So long as you know that baby is someone great. Or that thing that you are thinking, you're having your mind to, you, you know it is a great thing and it is really going to be, oh my God. It's going to, to change your perspective, the way you look at life. So, Mary and Joseph hustled, really hustled to get where Jesus was going to be produced. But in the long run, the baby, in fact, even when the baby was, <laughs> okay, now I've got something else. Even when the baby was produced, you find that uh, they wanted to kill the baby. It is a struggle getting the baby out. <laughs> now my conversation has changed. I don't know what I told you first I'm going to speak about, but this is what I'm talking about now. The baby, before the baby was produced, that idea before you produce it, the type of the production of the idea, the production of the baby. You search and you look, where am I supposed to produce this baby from? Where, where? You look to all people maybe to give you opportunities to make that idea come to life. And no one can give you a pulp, no one can give you a stage, no one can give you a chance to bring that baby to life 
And when you struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle and at the end you make that baby come to life, that idea come to life. People want to kill that baby. Huh? You get you, you, they even don't know where you struggled to get that baby. In fact, these guys who wanted to kill Jesus were not there when the angel was telling Mary you will produce a baby at such and such a time. What am I trying to say? The idea you have, it is you and your God. It is God who puts those ideas in us and he wants them to be alive, as in to be active. So the baby you have, you have to nurture that baby. You may produce that baby, that idea may come to pass and people tell you, you know what children, This is not going to work out. You just leave it. Try something else. At least not you. As in, it is not you. This is not you. You can't do that, chosen. And people, you find people being angry over nothing. You ask yourself, why is this person angry? As in, why is he much concerned about my idea? But, Mary. But, by the way, when God gives you something, he is always that even when you walk through the Bible says when you walk through the valleys, he will be with you. Through the fire, he will be with you. He is good. No matter what you're going through. If you're trying to do that thing and it has failed, that doesn't make you think that God is not there. When Jesus was being produced, God was there. He was there. So don't let what you're going through make you think it is over. It is not over yet till when the baby is produced, until when the baby saves the world. The ideas we have are not just ideas because, yeah, yeah, you know what, Chosen, I have this idea and it comes to life. So when Jesus was produced, first of all, before he was produced, there was nowhere to be for him to be produced. When he was produced, people wanted to kill him. Even when he grew, people wanted to kill him, as in, and they killed him. But, <laughs> heroes again. So maybe you got an idea, maybe a business, and it came to pass that you were really successful at a point. And some people, or even you yourself, you killed it and you made it to come to an end. There is a resurrection power. <laughs> hey, that the grace of God is sufficient to bring it back to life. Never give up on yourself. Just stay believing. Even when Jesus was killed, he said, in three days, I'll be back to life. So, stay believing that idea you have, that baby you have within, is a great person, is a great idea. Just keep those things and work on them, knowing you have someone besides you. But it is always good to know that Someone is backing you up. You get the strength and the courage to do something and you're like, yeah. No matter what people are saying, I have a backup. So I love you, I said you're chosen. And that is it for the day. As you nurture your babies, don't let people destroy or kill your babies. Even when they are killed, there's a resurrection power that can bring them to life. I said you're chosen.